Newly appointed interlocutor on Kashmir, Dineshwar Sharma has a challenging task up his sleeve to initiate dialogue with all stakeholders in Kashmir and take the peace process forward. But he is a man who has worn many hats and this is not the first time he is tasked with holding peace talks. He was earlier made the interlocutor for peace talks with Assam's insurgent groups as well, which included the United Liberation Front of Assam in June this year. Dineshwar Sharma is a 1979 batch retired officer of the Indian Police Service. He served as the chief of the Intelligence Bureau between December 2014 and December 2016. This was also the time when tensions escalated in Kashmir following the encounter of Hizbul Mujahideen commander Burhan Bani in September last year. He has played a role in keeping terror incidents at a minimum during his tenure. He was also this was also during the time that the Indian government uh, reached a settlement with Northeast based insurgent group NCNIM. He is also known for his unique policy of uh, perform, of reforming potential ISIS recruits. As the then head of the intelligence bureau, he made a policy of making strong efforts to get the youth back uh, to the mainstream instead of arresting them. Let's break this down for our viewers. Joining us on the broadcast this evening is uh, Mr. Sushant Sireen, who is a fellow at the Vivekananda International Foundation. Good evening, Mr. Sireen. Uh, great to have you back uh, with us here on Beyond. Your initial reaction uh, to the appointment of Dineshwar Sharma as the interlocutor. He does have a challenging task up his sleeve to initiate dialogue with all the stakeholders. Interestingly, the Home Minister, while making that announcement, did not shy away from mentioning that the Hurriyat will also be a part of this dialogue process. At least uh, Dineshwar Sharma will be, uh, will have the right to initiate dialogue with whoever and whichever stakeholder he intends to. Yeah, but honestly, I'm a little confounded by this particular move. Uh, you know, it's been tried so many times in the past. I don't know what's new about uh, what Mr. Sharma is going to do, uh, what uh, many of the others before him haven't already done. Uh, so I don't know where this is leading up to. I don't know what is the uh, what is the playbook. Uh, if this is the old playbook, then I don't see how it's going to lead to um, uh, anything fresh. Uh, secondly, I think you know at a time when the government uh, is in the process of uh, putting pressure on the separatists uh, to give this kind of a sop, whom are you giving the sop to? Whom are you going to hold a dialogue with? And a dialogue on what? Now, when the Home Minister says that he, uh, you know, uh, this gentleman <clears throat> will try and understand the legitimate aspirations of the people of Jammu and Kashmir, what does that mean? Do they even think before they uh, start tweeting uh, what they are trying to uh, get at? Uh, now, you have an elected government in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. You have elected representatives of the state of Jammu and Kashmir in the Indian Parliament. Uh, you have local bodies in Jammu and Kashmir, and yet you need a former bureaucrat, uh, even a former intelligence officer, to now start talking to people to understand the legitimate aspirations of the people. Uh, so I don't really, you know, I'm I'm kind of utterly confounded uh, by this particular move. I'm sure there's a method to the madness, uh, but uh, what that method is, I'm really not able to figure out because. Uh, you know, what has happened to the last interlocutor's report? Yes. Uh, it, it, it was published, uh, nothing uh, moved forward. Uh, and it, rightly so, because it was uh, it was quite a useless thing. But you had, uh, you know, from KCR, who all who have been acted out there, uh, and without trying to understand what the Unfortunately, losing the audio there a bit uh, with Mr. Serene, but he is making a valid point. This is uh, being uh, echoed by many experts we've been, uh, we've been interacting with as well. Uh, some question uh, the intention also of viewing uh, this with a certain measure of cynicism, uh, considering uh, that the recommendations of the last group of interlocutors appointed by the government of India under UPA2 were never taken seriously. Uh, Mr. Serene uh, we, uh, was also talking about how uh, the last report uh, in a way gathered dust, how the recommendations that were made uh, by the last group of interlocutors 
uh, who had made uh, several uh, suggestions also to review the Armed Forces Special Powers Act and so on and so forth were not implemented. Mr. Sareen is back with us. Uh, you are talking about a certain measure of cynicism with which uh, one must see the development to appoint the new interlocutor given the fact that the last group of interlocutors uh, had made uh, several suggestions. However, we saw no compliance. Uh, that report unfortunately gathered dust. How differently are you seeing things this time around? Look, uh, frankly, the last report was uh, really uh, not even worth the paper it was written on. But that's not the point. The point is uh, that the report was published and it was put in the rubbish bin. Then you had these round tables or conferences, round table conferences or wo working groups or whatever, uh, and still nothing moved forward. So what is, uh, I can't understand at a time when you are putting the pressure on the separatists, uh, you are clawing back the space which you had already taken uh, because of some resolute action, whether it was on money laundering, whether it was cracking down on the stone pelters or what have you. Uh, and yet, uh, just when you, know, you are reaching that critical mass, you again try and backtrack uh, and throw a kind of a sop to many of these fellows. Now, uh, doesn't the central government really undermine the state government by uh, putting it a uh, person to an act as an interpreter? Why should the state government Unfortunately, losing the line again with Mr. Serene, but. Uh, uh, the kind of concerns that he's been uh, talking about have also been made uh, by a number of other experts. But there is hope that uh, this time around, uh, the peace process will take a uh, way forward, will take uh, a fresh turn, uh, different uh, from the ones that we've seen so far. Uh, Dineshwar Sharma has been appointed as the new interlocutor uh, on Kashmir. Uh, let's also tell you that he has played a role in keeping terror incidents at a minimum during his tenure as the former Intelligence Bureau Chief. He served as the IB Director between December 2014 and 2016 and also reached a settlement with the Northeast based insurgent group NSCNIM during his tenure. So these are uh, just to mention a few of uh, the significant uh, moves that have been taken by Dineshwar Sharma throughout his uh, long spanning uh, uh, tenure so far. And uh, with uh, this challenging task up his sleeve, he is uh, intended to initiate dialogue with all stakeholders in the state of Jammu and Kashmir.